I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET and I'm here at the Fujitsu stand in Mobile World Congress in Barcelona and Fujitsu is showing off a concept for unlocking your phone using iris scanning. Now why exactly would you want iris scanning? Well there are a few reasons. First of all, you don't have to remember a whole load of complicated passwords or a pattern for unlocking the screen. It also means that you don't actually have to use your finger at all. Of course, with fingerprint scanning, if your finger is too wet or, of course, if you're wearing gloves, then you won't be able to unlock your phone very easily. But by using iris scanning, all you need to do is point it towards your face and let the phone do the work. Now, right now, you can see on the top of the phone, there is a unit that contains an infrared, uh, infrared laser and an infrared camera to pick it up. Now, this is only a concept, but sometime later in 2015, there will be a consumer phone that actually combines this camera inside the phone itself. Now, as it's a concept, the software isn't final on this phone. Even so, it did seem very easy to set up with my own eyes, and it does unlock extremely quickly, and I can definitely see this being very handy if I'm walking out in the cold with my gloves on. Fujitsu did advise me to keep my glasses off when registering my iris, but I did find that with my glasses on, it was still able to recognize me and let me into the phone, which is good to know as a glasses wearer. Fujitsu hasn't said exactly when we're going to see this inside one of its consumer phones or how much it will cost or what it will look like, so we can only really dream at the sort of device we'll finally see with iris scanning technology inside, but I'm certainly looking forward to giving it a proper go later in the year. I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET, and this is Fujitsu's iris scanning unlock concept.